here we have an anterior view of the liver. We can see um, the left and the right lobe and the falciform ligament, which is that anterior ligament that separates the left and the right lobe of the liver. This ligament is comprised of the two peritoneal folds that come together and give structural and rigidity to the liver and anchors it to the abdominal wall and to the diaphragm. As I'm drawing on here, it also has fibers going upwards to the diaphragm. Next below that, we can see an inferior view of the liver that exposes the round ligament. It is one of the biggest ligaments and it's actually not comprised of peritoneal folds, but it is the obliterated umbilical vein. And again, it continues that falciform ligament that we just talked about. Moving on to a posterior view of the liver, uh, we can expose some major landmarks, some major structures. We can see the abdominal aorta here, the inferior vena cava in front of it, and also the common hepatic vein that's draining into the inferior vena cava. Highlighted in blue is the ligamentum venosum, which separates the left lobe of the liver and the caudate lobe which sits on the right side. So we can see the left lobe and the caudate lobe on the, on the right side. Uh, the ligamentum venosum is actually a remnant of ductus venosus. Uh, it is not uh, comprised of the two peritoneal folds like the falciform ligament. Moving on, one of two triangular ligaments. We can see here the left triangular ligament. It continues the coronary ligament and gives fibers going superiorly, anchoring the liver to the diaphragm. And moving on, number five, the coronary ligament. This is the largest ligament that and covers majority of the liver. It is divided into two layers, the upper layer and the lower layer. The upper layer reflects uh, the peritoneum from the upper margin of the bare area. So we can see that bare area in between the upper and the lower layer of the coronary ligament. And again, it continues the falciform ligament, which we initially talked about, that ligament on the anterior surface and it connects the liver directly to the diaphragm. The lower layer, uh, it's also known the hepatorenal ligament, which gives fibers going directly to the right kidney and the right suprarenal gland that gives structural support to both the kidney and the right lobe of the liver. And moving on to the last one, the second triangular ligament, the right triangular ligament, it sits on the right extremity of the right lobe and attaches directly to the abdominal wall.